जस्ट टीवी के सारे व्यूअर्स को सतरकाल नमस्कार वेलकम टू आर वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ जस्ट लाइव इफ यू लिव इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एक खुशखबरी आपके लिए कि कोविड की वैक्सीन हैव बिन ऑफिशियली शिफ्ट आउट इफ वी लुक एट टू डे द फर्स्ट इंडिविजुअल्स टू रिसीव द कोविड वैक्सीन इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स और आवर हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स और डॉक्टर्स नर्सेज फ्रंट लाइन वर्कर्स असेंशल वर्कर्स बट हमारी साउथ एशियन कम्युनिटी में हु आर द फर्स्ट टू रिसीव दिस वैक्सीन एंड क्या रिजल्ट किस तरह का उन्होंने इस वैक्सीन का एक्सपीरियंस रहा है कि वो तो दस सकते सो यू कैन गैट वैक्सीनेटेड जो मौका आए एज वैल सो आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट साढ़े जो गैसट अज सू जॉइन कर रहे हैं आप कह सकते हो कि जहाँ पे इंडियनज इन अमेरिका की बात आती है नॉट ओनली इन एक्सट्रीमली वेल अकॉम्पलिश्ड इंडिविजुअल ऑफकोर्स वन ऑफ आर हेल्थ केयर हीरोज and also one of the first indian americans to receive the covid vaccine so please join me in welcoming our guest today dr kishor k chala uh, from west virginia doctor welcome to the program namaskar sister kal how are you Thank you very much good to have you doctor good to have you with us um first of all thank you so much for taking the time out we know how busy uh, you must be especially nowadays uh, doctor uh, for the benefit of our viewers i want to tell them a little bit about your background you hail from the great state of hyderabad uh, you completed your residency uh, in medicine right here in new york um and you've been practicing ever since uh, board certified internal medicine cardi and a cardiologist you're currently um a, a, a cardiology sub section chairman at Thomas Memorial in West Virginia and you're also uh the chairman on on the board of medicine so you are extremely well accomplished but jis cheez ki hum aaj baat karne ja rahe hain today's conversation will be around the fact that you're one of the first uh, Indian Americans to receive the covid vaccine and i think hum sare ab ek collectively um a sigh of relief breathe kar sakte hain ki itne lambe saal jo ye sabne guzara hai finally ja ke vaccines available hui hain but there is some skepticism so i want to get all of the details from you doctor um sabse pehle dr chala what was the experience like getting the vaccine did it hurt did you feel anything after um what was that experience like? like no the experience was no different than getting the influenza vaccine or any flu vaccine ji and uh, it is such a easy process and uh, the pain probably is it was a little more than regular flu vaccine but it subsided within 24 hours ji and i'm back to work the next day and it was exciting i mean i wanted to get the vaccine as one of the first healthcare workers because as the chairman of the board of medicine for the state we have about 9000 physicians and 1000 physician assistants i wanted to prove a point that this is a safe vaccine and the reason i went first is uh, to make sure that people you have to set an example to tell them that it is it is good to get the vaccine ji absolutely it is good to get the vaccine but i think there is a lot of uh, logo ke man mein dimag mein shak hai abhi bhi uh, because itni tezi se ye vaccine develop hui hai um doctor i'd like you to talk to us a little bit about the science behind this vaccine um of course you are a lifelong medical professional um kitna bharosa hame rakhna chahiye is vaccine mein even though normally these kind of vaccines take years um to research and test and and collect data on and 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 then they get released into the public but here we saw less than a year from when the problem started to now that there is a vaccine um in terms of the science behind it bilkul ye nayi science uh, or research ke upar vaccine banayi ya koi existing science thi jiske uh, hum keh sakte hain foundation ke upar is vaccine ko banaya gaya kitna bharosa how much confidence can you restore in the actual creation of this vaccine okay before anything else anything in medicine is a risk benefit analysis usually for any vaccine to come out on an average it takes about 10 to 15 years this covid vaccine of pfizer uh, which it was developed within 10 months but they went through all the processes it was very much expedited 
And in fact, yesterday, even the another vaccine from Moderna was approved. And maybe as we speak right now, the FDA panel is going to approve it. Unlike other vaccines, these two vaccines are called messenger RNA vaccines. What they do is, they, this is a messenger uh, RNA where uh, it forms antibodies against the virus. And usually it, it has to be given in two doses. This is, to my knowledge, this is the first messenger RNA vaccine, but it was studied in 70,000 people. Wow. Of the 70,000 people, nobody, you, there's no risk of getting COVID from the vaccine because they're not injecting the virus. Mm -hmm. Number two, of the 70,000 people, nobody had, nobody died. Mm -hmm. Nobody had uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. And there were two major allergic reactions. Mm -hmm. And these two patients, when they go, went back, they found that these, these two patients were allergic to everything else. Wow. So that's why on the labeling of the vaccine, they said if you have severe allergic reactions to previous vaccines or anything, you should not take it. Mm -hmm. So the confidence wise, that's exactly the point. If healthcare professionals have to, this was a very much scientifically designed vaccine. Mm -hmm. And going forward, there are more vaccines coming out. Mm -hmm. But the safety of the vaccine and the efficacy of the vaccine is really good, Gee. as we could see. Gee. Obviously, nobody knows what will happen on the Absolutely. long term. Absolutely. But what are we going against? You're going against, against a disease which does not spare anybody. Gee. You're going against a disease where people are dying right and left. Yep. And uh, in the last uh, one week in US, in the last four days, there were one million patients with COVID. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the numbers are certainly frightening. And even though vaccine, that does not mean we're in the clear yet. Um, we still have months before things will come back to normal. Um, this topic, I want to talk about this topic, doctor, but we have to stop for a quick break here. You don't want to go. Viewers, you are still here with us. We'll be back after a short break. Welcome back from the break of the Ekrian Just Live. And uh, today I want to talk to you about something that is very, very important. It is going on right now. Uh, finally, COVID vaccines are out. United States may COVID ki pehli vaccines administer honi shuru ho gai hai. Is vishe pe hamai saath discuss karne ke liye hamai join karne. Dr. Kishore Chala from West Virginia. Dr. Chala is one of the first South Asians, Indian Americans to receive the COVID vaccine. A healthcare hero, cardiologist, a chairman, board of medicine. Um, doctor, uh, you are telling us uh, basically hamara confidence restore kar rahe hai. Um, na ke sirf is vaccine mein, but in the science itself behind um, the production of vaccines such as this and the administration of them and kitne hazaron ki ginti mein ye vaccine uh, already di gayi hai as part of the testing um, and the trials and now it's being given to the public but there is a line matlab like um, a koi average american ja ke you know kisi bhi store mein ya clinic mein kal ye vaccine nahi laga sakta so i want you to share to the best of your knowledge because uh, we know ke uh, is topic pe zyada information available nahi hai kisi ke paas bhi nahi hai these things are getting worked out but to the best of your knowledge kya timeline hai kab hum expect kar sakte as an average american to receive this vaccine it, uh, to the best of my knowledge it will be sometime around March or April, where people can go and get vaccine. Okay. Uh, uh, See, who, who's going to be getting the vaccine in the meantime? Because clearly, like you got the vaccine, so they are administering it. Um, but the average person won't be able to get it, like you said, for a few months. So in, in that time frame, who is going to It is a question of supply and demand. Okay, You, you have... Uh, 130 million people and you got 1 million doses. So the people who are getting on the first round are the ones who are at the highest risk of developing COVID. And uh, once they develop COVID, they are the highest risk of having side effects and complications from that. So that's why we call it as the frontline workers. The frontline workers are the ones, I mean, I take care of COVID patients. 
Well, quite a few of the patients with COVID come with heart attacks and uh, we don't even know what they have. So unless proven otherwise, we have to assume anybody is coming through the emergency room as COVID and you have to go with the full gear, which includes this goes like this. Yeah. The N95, yeah. you have a shield on top of it yeah. and uh, this uh, whole gear and uh, with these glasses, it fogs up very, very <laughs> fast. Yeah. And you have to look at the screen when you're putting stents and doing surgeries. Yeah. So the frontline workers include ER physicians, ER nurses, doctors who take care of uh, COVID patients in the hospital, the doctors, nurses, nursing uh, assistants, and even the transporters. And the second uh, group of people who got this vaccine are the ones who are very vulnerable if they get COVID, like Gee. patients in nursing homes with multiple, multiple problems. Gee. So this is the first phase. Gee. When they go to the second phase, then they talk about people more than 55 or 60, there's a cutoff point. Gee. Patients with diabetes, patients with known heart disease, people with lung disease, they are the ones who can get sick when they get COVID. So that will be the second phase. And after that, they have to give it to, I mean, the phases, every state has to develop their own policies. Right. Right. In our state, we decided that going and giving it to the colleges, because there are thousands and thousands of students in the colleges, yeah. even though they are at a low risk of getting complications, but after they go home, they are super their spreaders. Homes, yeah, they then, spread it. Yeah. And their family can be at risk. Um, doctor, I I'm glad you kind of clarify because there's a lot of different things uh, in terms of who's going to get it when. Um, kya enough doses be hongi? Uh, United States as a whole will have plenty of doses for its citizens. Um, the rest of the world, not so much. But if we talk about what people need to do in the meantime, right? So, um, vaccine aagi hai, aap jaise frontline workers, healthcare professionals, um, jo high risk individuals, and those are the people that are first in line. The rest of us, um, we will get our turn eventually. But in the meantime, doctor, um, ye cheez hum to kya kya ke thag gaye hain. But clearly, is cheese ko abhi bhi kena hai. What are some basic safety standards that we should still maintain because COVID is still very dangerous? Clearly, just apne numbers ko uh, highlight kiya thoda sa. What do we? What does the average American need to still do until March, April, May when the vaccine is um, available for the masses? See, Ashmita, we you cannot. I don't think people should get the false sense of security that the vaccine is available okay the timeline for the vaccine for example the one i took on monday right mm -hmm. uh, and my second dose will be on january 4th exactly three weeks after that and two weeks after that is when you get 95 percent protection from covid okay, okay. So, it's not like you go and take a shot and come out and say, I got the vaccine. Now I'm a macho man. I'm a superman. No, you still have to follow the basic guidelines. Gee. Two, two things in the basic guidelines. Okay. One is increase your immunity. Okay. How do you increase your immunity? There are simple steps. Okay. You do pranayana. You do the nasal exercises at least five times a day second thing is take one vitamin c vitamin d zinc and my mom used to give me turmeric when i was growing up these are the four things Gee. which really increase your immunity Gee. and basically that is your defense mechanism Gee. Okay. and ki aap, uh, you need to be very careful that you're not spreading it if you have it yes so Social distancing, wearing the face mask, hand hygiene, and not crowding, even except for immediate family member. Yep. Like, obviously, with your spouse and all, there's no social distancing. You're right there. But even if I go and meet my son in, New York, in Chicago or my daughter in New York, it has to be social distancing. Yeah, because absolutely. 
there's a lot of unlike people thinking that covid is spread on people who only who are sick that's not true there's a lot of people who have no symptoms yep. and can spread the disease absolutely so, doctor um once you get the vaccine um just to clarify right uh, but this is a common misconception we hear once you get the vaccine you can't catch COVID, but what if, can you still spread it in the meantime if you have it? What's the relation between having the vaccine and protecting yourself versus protecting others? Nobody knows protecting others yet, okay? oh, wow. but it's common sense. Yeah. What is the vaccine doing? It is, let, let's say when the virus, virus, right? The density of the virus in your body is the one if you're high dense, uh, if you have too much virus in the body, you tend to spread more. So because your body is fighting the virus, so logistically, common sense says that if you're protected, there's a very good chance that you might be protecting other people, mm -hmm. but the data is not clear. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch base one basis about what is called herd immunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure our, uh, viewership have heard about the term herd immunity. Mm -hmm. As a simple example, let's say there are 100 people in a community, okay? And there's an infectious disease. So if let's say 50 of them have antibodies against the virus, the chance of them spreading to other people is very much low. Mm -hmm. And everything depends upon the infectivity of the virus. Mm -hmm. For example, the measles virus, the herd immunity is achieved only when 95% of the people are immune. So how do you get the immunity is one is get the disease and get the antibodies. Number two is vaccine. So this herd immunity is very important. And uh, that's basically where hopefully if vaccine is available throughout the world, and that more people take it, then uh, it is achievable. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Chala, aapke muh mein ghi shakar. Uh, hopefully the vaccine will be available and will be readily administered um, to populations everywhere so we can uh, move forward from this deadly pandemic. Um, Dr. Kishore K. Chala, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the work that you do and for being one of the first Indian Americans to get the COVID vaccine um, and restoring confidence for anyone who's skeptical or doubtful of um, the need to do this. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, doctor. We will talk soon. Namaskar, Sasvikal, Dab. Namaskar and thanks for giving me the opportunity on your channel. Of course, sir. Of course. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can also send us info at justbroadcasting.com. Ashmita at justbroadcasting.com. Now, give me a chance. Sasvikal, Namaskar.